In this tutorial, we'll explain how to connect your CryptoHopper account to Bitvavo. We'll demonstrate how to do this on a desktop, but you can also follow these steps in the app. Step 1. Go to the Bitvavo website and log in or create an account. Step 2. After successfully logging in, click your name in the top right corner and select API. Step 3. Creating the API. You will not see any API keys yet, as you are creating your first one. Click Request New API Key. You will see the following screen. Step 4. Give your API key a memorable name, such as CryptoHopper API Key. Step 5. Go back to CryptoHopper and copy the IP addresses that you need to whitelist. You can use the copy button. Then navigate to Bitvavo and paste the IP addresses. IP whitelisting ensures that buy and sell orders can only be placed from CryptoHopper servers and is a necessary security measure. And enable everything except withdraw currencies. Click on Generate API Key and enter your Bitvavo password and 2FA code. Do not click on OK, I saved my secret key yet. Step 6. Add the API to CryptoHopper. Paste the API key and API secret into the fields shown in CryptoHopper. Step 7. Activate the API key by confirming the email from Bitvavo. Step 8. Click on Connect to Bitvavo in CryptoHopper and continue creating your trading bot. Unable to see your exchange balance? If you are unable to see your exchange balance, there may be a few issues preventing your bot from synchronizing with your exchange. One common cause is autofill being enabled in your browser. To fix this, try disabling autofill using incognito mode, switching to a different browser, or disabling your password manager. For more information, check our troubleshooting article. You might encounter an error in CryptoHopper's onboarding process when connecting to Bitvavo, even if your API keys are correct. The most common reasons include having no funds in your exchange account, having no funds in your trading account, as some crypto exchanges differentiate between funding and trading accounts, or not being a verified exchange user KYC. In this case, please click on Continue Without Testing. You can always check your API keys later in your base config.